Hey guys, so today I've got a nice in-depth video on Nightmare Zone. Nightmare Zone may be a bit confusing for beginners, so this guide is intended to help both noobs and intermediate players. First off, we'll start with how to get there. It's quite easy thanks to the minigame teleport system, we have a direct teleport to Nightmare Zone on a 30 minute cooldown. If your teleport is on cooldown for some reason, you could also use alternate transportation to your nil, such as the Watchtower teleport. Then, it's just a short run across. The Nightmare Zone is a minigame that allows you to replay boss fights from quests you've already completed. This has turned into one of the best training methods in the entire game. Next, let's talk requirements. While Nightmare Zone doesn't have any specific requirements, you must have at least 5 quest bosses available to fight. For these, I recommend Ascent of Arceus for the Trap Soul, Vampire Slayer for Count Draenor, Depths of Despair for the Sand Snake, What Lies Below for King Rold, and finally, Mountain Daughter for the Kendall. These bosses are the best to fight for melee experience per hour. Additionally, you're also going to need to complete the Recipe for Disaster subquest for the Mountain Dwarf. This will unlock the Rock Cake, which we'll use to bring our hit points down to 1 while inside the Dream. Also, if you've completed a rum deal, you can bring the Holy Wrench in with your prayer pots. This way you can get more value out of each potion dose. This also works for super restores. In the clips, you may see me using the Locator Orb from Dragon Slayer 2 instead of the Rock Cake, but they both serve the same purpose. For the prayer method, we'll be using Protect from Melee and fighting exclusively melee bosses so we can AFK. The gear we will want to bring is Proselyte, a Nezi Helm, and a Whip. Then, you'll also want to use the best strength boosting gear you have. This can be Barra's Gloves, a Dragon Defender, and a Berserker Ring. If you don't have the Proselyte armor, you can also use Monk Robes. The main goal here is getting a high prayer bonus and a high melee strength bonus. For the inventory, just fill your inventory with prayer pots, or, if you have the cash, super restores. You can follow along with the gear I'm using, but if you have any upgrades, make sure to use them. The higher max hit you have, the better experience per hour you'll get. Make sure you stick around to watch the whole video, because I'll go more in depth into gear upgrades later on in the video. To enter the Nightmare Zone, we have to speak to Dominic Onion. The mode we'll want to use is a customizable rumble on hard difficulty. This will cost us 26k GP, which will be deducted from the coffer. You should fill this with some coins now if you haven't. Then, from here, we just drink the potion to enter the Nightmare Zone. Make sure the only bosses you have ticked are the ones I have on screen. If you have any bosses that do magic or range damage, you'll be killed and you'll waste your GP and have to start the session again. Once you are inside, you'll want to run to the square I have highlighted. You can find this by looking in between the two pieces of armour, then one step to the north. By standing here, you'll make sure you're always in combat, thus giving you the highest experience per hour possible. The Nightmare Zone minigame works by repeatedly spawning bosses that you've encountered in your quest before. While most people use Nightmare Zone as a training method, there's also reward points. Reward points can be used to imbue your gear such as your Fremnic Rings, including the Seer, Archers, Warriors and Berserker Rings, to double their bonuses. Other pieces of gear such as your Salve Amulet or Slayer Helmet can be imbued. Additionally, the reward shop also offers supplies as a reward. We'll go into more detail about that later in the video. While there's a large range of bosses to fight inside the Nightmare Zone, the ones we've chosen all fight with melee. This way, we can use the Protect from Melee prayer to negate all damage. That means the more prayer bonus we have, the longer we can AFK for. Sometimes you can AFK for up to 10 minutes at a time with a high enough prayer bonus. While choosing hard difficulty does double the damage that the monsters would normally deal, since we can nullify it all with the Protect from Melee prayer, we're just increasing their hit points. Since their defensive stats remain unchanged, this allows us to increase our XP per hour and our points per hour. We'll also need a good amount of points before we start the next method, which will involve purchasing overload and absorption potions. Once you've been auto-retaliating for a while, your prayer will have drained far enough that it's worth taking a sip. If you're using the Runelite plugin, this will be shown by the highlight around your prayer orb. All you need to do is take a sip of your prayer potion or super restore, and then you can go back to AFKing. For the next method, we are going to have to spend some of our reward points. Head over to the rewards chest and stock up on overloads and absorption potions. These will go into the barrels where you can then withdraw and store all the doses you own. While there's nothing that stops you from storing your potions in the bank, there's no point not using the barrels. They're conveniently located and you can withdraw as many doses as you need. One thing to note is that the barrels can store a maximum of 255 doses but that shouldn't affect you, because you won't be using that many doses in one trip anyway, and you can just restock up again. Now, for the Daharix method, we're going to be using a different set of gear. Obviously, we're going to want to use the Daharix set of gear. 
The Tahara Accept bonus increases your maximum hit based off your missing HP. Then, fill the remaining item slots up with your best strength increasing gear. The inventory I take is 24 doses of overload and fill the rest up with absorption. The amount of overloads you'll need to take will range on your defense level and how AFK you are. You'll need to experiment and find out what sort of inventory setup works for you. Alongside the potions, you'll also want to take your Dwarven Rock Cake or Dragon Slayer 2 Locator Orb if you have it. I'll be taking the Locator Orb, but it's the same as the Rock Cake. Since we're using Absorption and not Prayer, we can also take the Moss Guardian for bonus experience. Once inside, head back to the center square we marked earlier. Then, drink 1000 points worth of Absorption Potions. After that, take a sip of Overload. We'll want to keep our hit points at 1, so we're going to set up quick prayers. To do this, all you'll need to do is right click on your prayer orb next to your minimap. This will allow us to choose the quick prayer that we'll want to use. You can choose multiple quick prayers, but we'll only need one. If you wish to practice your prayer flicking, you may also select a melee boosting prayer, such as chivalry. The prayer we'll be using is rapid restore. When active, this prayer doubles the regeneration rate of your hit points. However, when you activate it, it resets the timer of your hit points regeneration back to zero. Therefore, by quickly toggling this prayer on and off, we can keep our timer at zero, stopping our hit points from going back up. This allows us to get the most out of our Daharic set bonus. Once your quick prayers are set, guzzle your rock cake or fill your locator orb until your hit points reach one. Don't worry, you won't actually die from this. Daharic is based off your missing hit points, so the higher your hit points level, the better experience per hour you'll get here. Once we're all set up and auto retaliating, every 59 seconds or less, we'll need to double click the prayer icon to toggle our quick prayer on and off. Alternatively, if you have to AFK and your health regens, you can use your rock cake or locator orb again. This will bring you back down to 1 HP. Then, for maximum experience rates, just keep doing that until you run out of overload and absorption potions. Take note of what you have left to adjust the ratio of absorption to overload that you personally will end up using. For the rewards, you'll obviously want to imbue your items, such as your Berserker Ring first. But once you've imbued all the items that you need to, and you have spare Nightmare Zone points, you can purchase 15 herb boxes a day. This will give you an average profit of 140k GP. This can go directly into your bank when opened. These are a nice daily purchase that can sometimes help cover the costs of the dreams. Just purchase your 15, then right click and send them to your bank. They'll open automatically so you can just AFK while they open. The herb boxes offer the best GP per point at an average of exactly one gold piece per point spent. This is the best out of all the options available in the shop. So let's recap. First we have the prayer or AFK method. This method gives us about 80 to 90,000 experience per hour in a melee skill. So that's attack, strength, or defense. That did not include the hit points experience per hour. But more importantly, this gives us around 400,000 nightmare zone points per hour. It's not recommended to train with this method, as it's both costly and lower XP per hour than the Daharix method. This is really only just for starting out and getting the initial points you need to start off the Daharix method. If mum lets you buy some bonds with her credit card, you'll be able to upgrade your gear. The upgrades you'll want to go for are the Grazi Rapier, the Avernic Defender, the Face Guard, and the Amulet of Torture. These will all offer a significant strength increase, giving you a better experience per hour. However, it still won't compare to the Daharix method, which not only offers better experience per hour, but a lower cost of upkeep as you're not buying prayer potions. So let's look at the Daharix method. Using the Daharix method, we can get a solid 115,000 experience per hour, sometimes more when paying full attention. Again, you can get higher experience per hour by improving your strength bonus. This includes again, the Amulet of Torture, Primordial Boots, Ferocious Gloves, and making sure your Berserker Ring is imbued. Every 15 hours, your Daharic's armor will degrade. You'll have to repair it, but the price scales with your smithing level. At level 1 smithing, this is 328,000 GP. At level 99 smithing, this is 166,000. It's not much gold for the amount of experience you're getting. And that should about cover it. If you've got any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I hope you found this guide useful. If you do want to know more, feel free to ask any questions you have in the comments. I'll do my best to answer any questions I can. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. I'd really appreciate a like and potential subscription if you've made it this far. While I do have a lot more content planned for you guys already, feel free to reach out to me in the comments or my email if you've got anything you'd like to request or suggest. Thank you one last time for watching. Now, go get that Nightmare Zone experience.